Thursday, April 7th, was Student Council's second blood drive this year, partnered with Red Cross, a nonprofit organization that aims to provide emergency medical assistance on a national level. Students ages 16 or older were invited to donate. Student Council hosts two blood drives a year. We get about 57 to 65 donors in here. Uh, it takes about an hour, to save two lives. It's a great thing to do. A year ago, Student Council started communicating with Red Cross and staff in the building to schedule a date and time. Two weeks ago, emails were sent out to students so they could make appointments to donate. Flyers were put up and Student Council members went to as many homerooms as possible for recruitment. Ms. Fabiano ordered food and Ms. Peterson organized Student Council members into teams, each assigned to a specific task. We give people food so they don't pass out and we talk to people so they don't like focus on their blood. Oh yeah, I was really scared and then someone came and helped me and talked to me while I was doing it. And you didn't really notice because it didn't hurt at all, even though like you think it would. It's not that scary. People have many reasons for donating. The support team. <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to help save people. Because I know there's a need for blood, and if I can do it to help people, I'm more than happy to do it. To help. I'm getting out of math right now. <laughs> I just felt like helping somebody. Uh, the first time I did it, I wanted to help somebody, so I might as well do it again. This is my way of giving back. My oldest child had open heart surgery a number of years back, and I always look forward to giving blood. A large reason why people choose not to donate is because of fear, or simply because it is voluntary and they are not obligated to do it. The fear and anxiety of needles, um, that's a very common one. Nobody likes needles. We worry if you do like needles. We're trained in helping you go through this process and making it easy and comfortable for you. Uh, but generally, it's not until they they go through a situation themselves, until they finally realize that they, you know, how important blood giving is, because all my donors are donors who went through surgeries, realizing that they was received, you know, many pints of blood for them to come in to get back. If that's what it takes for them to come in and donate, that, that's just, you know, it is what it is. The overall opinion was that the experience did not hurt, or if it did, it only hurt a little. No, it doesn't really hurt. Not really. To be honest, a little bit. Not really. No, not at all. I don't think so. I didn't feel, really feel it. After the needle's in, you like can't even feel it, even like when the blood is rushing. Blood is needed every three minutes. And out of every 100 people, only one statistically will donate. Statistics say by the time you're 70, you will need blood by that time. It's something I think that students look forward to doing, and I think people feel very proud about you know, giving back and doing something. And most of our donors are usually pretty happy with what they did. Uh, I, I know it's not always a ringing endorsement, but the thing I hear most often is, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was not as bad as I thought it'd be. A total of 32 people donated, which will help 64 people in need of blood. This has been Rachel Cook from Cardinal TV.